So I've got a wish list for you guys today. Uh, 10 killer movies that I think we need to see on 4K UHD Blu-ray as soon as possible. So let's rock. Hi everyone, how you doing? Welcome back, I'm Fuzz. Uh, so today, like I said in the title, I've got a wish list here, uh, titles that I am really anxious to see get released on 4K UHD. And I wanna give a quick shout out to Ken over at Mid-Level Media for uh, providing the spark of inspiration for today's video here. A few days ago, he put out a great video uh, detailing 10 movies we need on 4K in 2024. And I would encourage you all to go check out that video, of course, Wait until you're finished with this one before you go check out Ken's. But Ken's video got me to thinking about what movies I'd like to see get a 4K release. Uh, if I could choose any films I wanted, regardless of any rights issues or licensing or distribution issues, these are the films that I would go with. So I want to say thanks to Ken for the great idea. Uh, I am tweaking it just a little bit here for my own purposes. Uh, but these are my top 10 like ultimate dream picks, right? Uh, at least as of right now that I'd personally like to see released on 4K UHD, uh, preferably sooner rather than later. And this dream list doesn't necessarily concern itself with uh, how realistic it may or may not be that we can even get certain titles on 4K. Um, there are definitely a few titles on this list that I think it's very possible that we could see released on 4K at some point in the next couple years. But there are also some titles on this list that are controlled by Disney. Uh, and uh, Disney doesn't have the best track record for uh, putting out uh, catalog releases on 4K. I mean, they're sitting on the whole vault of 20th Century Fox titles, of Touchstone Pictures titles, of Hollywood Pictures titles, and uh, they to date have not released a lot of titles on 4K. Uh, they kind of put all their eggs in the streaming basket, so you know, we're all kind of waiting to see if they uh, kind of uh, reverse course a little bit and return to uh, producing physical media for collectors. But either way, uh, this is my dream list, right? So these are the movies that I would like to see released on 4K as soon as possible. And as usual, I will also have some honorable mentions at the end of this list, so stick around for that. Um, and this list will have the occasional bending of the rules uh, for certain entries, uh, because that's just how I roll. Okay, so without any further ado, uh, let's get right into this list. All right, starting off at number 10, this is a title that Ken had on his list as well, and it's actually what kind of uh, set the whole ball in motion for me with this list, uh, and that is the director's cut of Gone in 60 Seconds. And that's, that's the important part. That's why I'm holding up this old uh, DVD. Those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you guys know that I am not a big fan of DVDs at all. But I do have a few that I still keep around for posterity. This is one of them uh, because it has this awesome director's cut. Now, I think the director's cut uh, works out to be uh, about 10 minutes longer than the theatrical release. And I do have this on Blu-ray. In fact, I've shown off my Blu-ray before. But today, I wanted to show off the DVD because I really do want this director's cut. I really want to see a 4K release that includes not just the theatrical version. I mean, I have the theatrical version on Blu-ray. But I want the full meal deal here, right? I want that extra 10 minutes of footage. So I think we need a 4K release that provides a definitive edition of this film, includes both cuts of the film, the director cut and the theatrical and then uh, of course any uh, additional special features that they might be able to come up with. Uh, this is a great film of course with uh, Nicolas Cage, you got Delroy Lindo in this, you got Robert Duvall in this and some other great people too. Just fantastic 2000 film. Uh, so yeah that's my number 10, Gone in 60 Seconds. Okay, for my number nine, this is the first entry where I'm kind of bending the rules a little bit here. Uh, I want to see the entire Phantasm franchise on 4K. Now, I know there's a German 4K release of the first film uh, that came out not too long ago um, in a nice, like, media book from, I think it was Play On or Ply On Pictures. Um, and, uh, you know, that's something I would definitely like to get my hands on. It looks like a great release. But really what I want to see is all five films released in 4K in the U.S., right? Uh, whether that comes from Arrow or Wellgo USA or whoever, 
Uh, I want to see the whole collection released in 4K. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, I've actually got two uh, box sets already on Blu-ray. I've got this uh, kind of streamlined Arrow set that has all five films with uh, original artwork and uh, a reversible cover artwork on each case and all that. Um, the only thing about this set is it didn't include the uh, the bonus disc with like the making of documentary Phantasmagoria uh, and some other bonus features. So, um, and of course, because of that, I also ended up buying the, uh, the Wellgo USA Sphere collection. These are the discs that came with it. This actually did uh, come with the bonus disc and that's why I bought it. So I've got a couple different Phantasm box sets on Blu-ray already but it's still not enough for me. I really want a US release on 4K of all five films. Uh, I Really, at least the first three films should be on 4K. I don't know how well the, the last two will translate to 4K. Well, the fourth one will probably translate to 4K somewhat okay as well. The fifth film, uh, there's a lot of do-it-yourself CGI in that that doesn't look very good. Uh, so I'm guessing that probably wouldn't translate to 4K very well. But I don't care. You know, I want all the films on 4K regardless. So uh, I'm a big fan of this franchise. It uh, was kind of a gateway to horror for me. Um, and, you know, it's got a little bit of everything in this franchise, right? You got horror, you got some action, you got your sci-fi. Um, you even got a little bit of slice of life like drama in there as well. Um, just a great franchise. So, yes, please, we need this on 4K. I don't know if it's in the works or not. Um, at one point when Bubba Hotep came out, uh, I, I follow Don Coscarelli's on Facebook, right? Uh, he has a Facebook page and I follow him. And uh, he put a note out there, you know, letting us know that Bubba Hotep was coming out on 4K. Well, I responded to that post saying, hey, now we just need to get the, the Phantasm films out on 4K. And Don Coscarelli actually liked that comment, so himself. So, um, I don't know what that means, if that means maybe it's in the works or that he's all down with it or what, but uh, yeah, definitely want to get these on 4K, uh, the Phantasm franchise. So that's my number nine, all five Phantasm films on 4K. Uh, moving on to number eight is another Don Coscarelli film, and it's a little bit more obscure. I don't know how many people uh, know this film or, or remember it. Um, it's called Survival Quest, uh, and it came out in 1988. And I have been dying to get my hands on this film. Um, it's, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's long out of print, even on DVD. Um, you can still hunt down DVDs, but they're not cheap. Now, I've never even seen this movie, but I've been super anxious to see it. I've heard great things about it. Uh, it was directed by Don Coscarelli, who I'm a big fan of from Phantasm and uh, The Beastmaster and Bubba Hotep. Um, and then on top of that, you got uh, Lance Hendrickson stars in this movie and Mark Ralston, a couple guys from Aliens. So that had my interest right away. That very much piqued my interest when I heard about that. Um, I guess it's kind of a backwoods, like a uh, survival type thriller. Um, you know, I haven't seen the movie, so I can't say for sure, but it looked right up my alley. And I definitely want to see, uh, a, see a 4K release of this uh, at some point in the future. Now, this seems like it would be a perfect candidate for, for a boutique release, right? For a boutique 4K release. Now, I'll admit that I'd be happy just to see this film on Blu-ray, but I could totally see Vinegar Syndrome giving a film like this the royal treatment, and I would absolutely love to see them do uh, go all in with a cool 4K release, uh, maybe come up with some uh, a new documentary like they did with Beastmaster. That was such an awesome documentary that they included in their, uh, their Beastmaster uh, release. Uh, so I want to see them do the same thing like they did with uh, with Beastmaster. In fact, I wouldn't mind seeing this title as a VSU with the with the really nice uh, thick chunky box set that uh, that Vinegar Syndrome does. So I realize it's a little bit more of an obscure film that maybe not everybody's heard of, but I absolutely want to see this thing released on uh, 4K and and see a, a cool boutique like Vinegar Syndrome or even someone else really give it the royal treatment. Okay, moving on to number seven. Uh, this is another one that I think would make for a great uh, boutique, uh, specifically Vinegar Syndrome release, uh, and that is Fortress. Uh, this is from 1992. A uh, great kind of, uh, I think it's kind of a futuristic thriller. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen this one, uh, but uh, stars Christopher Lambert, Kurtwood Smith, um, directed by the great Stuart Gordon. Um, and I'm actually, for this entry, I, I don't want to just see Fortress 1. I'd actually like to see Fortress 2 as well, um, a sequel that they put out in, I think, 
for what was it, 2000? Um, so yeah, I would love to see these. Um, I believe these are long out of print. Uh, I mean, I don't know about the DVDs. I assume the DVDs are, are long out of print. Um, and I don't believe either of these ever got a Blu-ray release. So uh, I could see this being a perfect candidate for uh, the vinegar syndrome treatment. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. Vinegar Syndrome put out this cool box set of Scanner Cop, right? That had uh, both Scanner Cop 1 and 2 in it. And I would love to see them do something like this uh, with the Fortress movies, right? That would be awesome. Uh, this one, I don't even know if it's all that good. I, I've only seen it once, and it was many years ago when I first got this. Um, I don't think I've ever watched it since. But I figure if you're going to do the first one, you may as well go ahead and do the second one as well, right? Uh, just to kind of wrap things up in a nice little bow there. Uh, this one I watched a few times in the 90s, but even with uh, with Fortress, it's been so long since I've actually seen the film that uh, my memory's a little shoddy on that. So, But yeah, uh, Fortress 1 and 2 would make uh, awesome, awesome 4K releases, uh, especially if you did like the uh, the Vinegar Syndrome box set and, and you know did a really nice uh, limited edition box set like you did with Scanner Cop here. Uh, so yeah, number seven, the Fortress movies. For number six, what we really need on 4K is more George Romero, right? And I'm talking about specifically Day of the Dead, right? Um, now, we did get a 4K release of Dawn of the Dead in the UK, right, from Second Sight, an amazing release. But due to uh, licensing and rights issues, we've never actually gotten a 4K release of uh, Dawn of the Dead in the US. But uh, if you don't have this uh, Second Sight release, I would highly recommend it. Great, great release. And from what I understand, it doesn't seem like there's actually going to be a 4K release of this one in the US uh, anytime soon, because uh, I guess the person who holds the rights wants way too much money uh, in order to license this title out. At least that's what I've heard so um so yeah i i realize that uh that getting this classic on 4k is somewhat limited uh, you got to get it from uh, second sight got to import it from the uk uh but great release right well we need a 4k of day of the dead to follow that up with right um because uh, this is a great film and really i'd take it a step further not just day of the dead but i'd like to see 4k releases of both land of the dead and day of the dead um, because I actually like this one too. In fact, this is probably going to be sacrilegious, but I actually like Land of the Dead a little bit more than Day of the Dead, but they're both great films. I want to see them both get awesome 4K releases. I'd love to see a chunky box for each one like we got here. Um, so yeah, uh, the George Romero films, these are definitely ones that we must have, uh, on 4K, uh, as soon as possible. Okay, for number five, we have Panic Room, directed by the great David Fincher, uh, an awesome kind of home invasion thriller that, with an amazing cast, uh, Jodie Foster, Forrest Whitaker, uh, Kristen Stewart. Uh, this is another one that I had on DVD at one point. In fact, I think I probably do still have it. It's just packed up in storage, uh, so I don't have it to show to you guys today. Now, this is one that never got a Blu-ray release, so we've definitely needed this film uh, to come out on at least an HD or better format. Now, I have heard some rumblings that they may actually be working on a 4K for this. Uh, I guess uh, David Fincher wasn't too thrilled about the 4K format at first from what I've heard. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody knows better out there. But from what I've heard, David Fincher was not really a big fan of the 4K format, and it's kind of taken him some time to uh, come around to it. But it sounds like he kind of is. And uh, the last I heard, there are... Uh, rumblings that they're actually working on a 4K for Panic Room, and I would love to see this. It's such a great film, uh, some great uh, tension and suspense, and uh, just a really great premise all the way around, uh, and of course, amazing acting. So yeah, if you've never seen Panic Room, this is an awesome film, and it's definitely one that uh, I'm hoping that we actually get to see on 4K in the near future. By the way, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, do me a favor and please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted whenever I'm posting videos that you might be interested in. Uh, also, don't forget to thumbs up the video. Give it a good like. Uh, it really does help with the, uh, the channel's visibility out there on YouTube. So thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it.
Moving on to number four, we've got another great Jodie Foster movie, uh, and that is Contact from 1997. I love this movie. I, I saw it in the theater when it first came out and uh, just had a blast with it. Uh, this is one I've never gotten around to picking up on Blu-ray. I just have like a digital HD copy of it, which I know that's pretty lame. So I should get the Blu-ray, but this is one that I've been hoping we would actually get a 4K release of, and that's why I've never gotten around to picking up the Blu-ray. I've been holding off. Um, this is a, I think it's a Warner Brothers release, so the, the chances of it getting a 4K, I think, are a lot higher than with a company like Disney, right? I was actually hoping it would be last year as part of Warner's like 100th anniversary celebration, but that turned out to be a pretty weak celebration, didn't it? I mean, we got a few good releases last year for as part of that celebration, but not nearly as much as I would have thought uh, a company like Warner Brothers would put out considering what they're celebrating, right? So Contact is one of those that I was actually hoping we would get a release last year, and it just, of course, hasn't happened yet. Um, anyway, great cast. Jodie Foster, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Tom Skerritt's in it. You got John Hurt in it. And some other people, too. Just an amazing film. And, uh, you know, it's got a lot of substance to it. And, uh, you know, it's definitely kind of a thinking film. And uh, that's what I loved about it. So, yeah, Contact at number four. All right, for my number three, this is not going to be a surprise to anyone. I talk about this one quite a bit on the channel. We we need The Rock in 4K. We absolutely need The Rock. I've talked about how we need a lot of uh, 90s action films on 4K, and this is certainly no exception. Great film by Michael Bay, probably Michael Bay's best film. And uh, there's not really a whole lot I can really say about this. We desperately need it on 4K. Um, but sadly, what is this, Touchstone? No, this is Hollywood Pictures. So uh, sadly, it's under the Disney uh, umbrella, right? It's under Disney's control. So who knows if we'll ever get a 4K release of it. But uh, it's definitely one that I know I'm not alone in clamoring for on 4K. I know a lot of you want it on 4K as well. Um, so I wish... Disney would get their act together with the uh, physical media. Uh, we can hope that that might uh, still happen at some point, but uh, at least as of right now, it's really hard to say if we'll ever get a 4K release of this. So but love the film. Just an amazing film with uh, Nicolas Cage, Ed Harris. Uh, yeah, just awesome sauce, right? Uh, my number two is another one that I've talked about a lot on this channel, and that is Outland from 1981 uh, with Sean Connery. I love this film, and this is one of those films that has like a really high rewatch value for me. I can watch it over and over again, and I never seem to really get sick of it. Um, it's also another film that I haven't gotten around to picking up on Blu-ray yet. Uh, I have a digital copy, once again. I've been wanting to actually buy it, but again, I've been waiting for that 4K release, hoping we would get a 4K release. And uh, just like with Contact, I was hoping last year we'd actually see Outland released uh, in 4K from Warner Brothers. Uh, I think it's Warner Brothers. I think they own this one, too. So, uh, I, you know... I don't know what Warner Brothers was doing last year with their 100th anniversary celebration, but it was pretty weak, right? They didn't really put out that many titles, not as many as you would think they would, uh, considering what they were celebrating and, and, and the, the vast catalog of movies that they have. But I'm a big fan of Outland. It desperately needs a 4K release. So if by some chance anybody from Warner Brothers is listening, please give us contact and Outland on 4K. We will love you for it. Okay, and for my number one choice here, I've got a pair of Tony Scott movies, uh, which anybody who knows me knows I'm a huge Tony Scott fan, and the movies that I want the most on 4K are Tony Scott movies, because there's a lot that we haven't gotten. Uh, on 4K, and they are under Disney's control, or a lot of them are under Disney's control. Uh, so, first one would be uh, Crimson Tide, whipping out the old DVD here again, uh, because this DVD has an extended version, which I think is like eight or nine minutes longer uh, than the theatrical version. So, it's just a few scenes, but, you know, I want the full meal deal, you know? If there's an extended version of the film, I want it. And I definitely want to see this uh, extended version released on 4K. It's kind of the same deal as with Gone in 60 Seconds, right? I have a Blu-ray of this, uh, but they never released the uh, extended version on Blu-ray. They only included the uh, theatrical cut. So, um, if we can get Crimson Tide 
on 4K, I absolutely want to see the the extended version of this film uh, in addition to the uh, theatrical cut, right? I, give us all cuts of the film. That's what we want, right? And then the other one I want on 4K is Enemy of the State. And uh, again, same deal here. I'm showing this DVD because this DVD is a special edition. It is an extended version that was never released on Blu-ray, right? I mean, we do. I have a Blu-ray of the film, but again, it's only the uh, theatrical cut, right? It's not the uh, extended version. And uh, same deal here with like, uh, I think it's about seven or eight minutes, nine minutes of extra footage, something like that uh, on this extended version that we never got on Blu-ray. So um, both of these films, we definitely need on 4K. We absolutely need these films on 4K, but not just that, we need all cuts of the films on 4K, right? I don't want just theatrical cuts. Uh, when there's an extended cut or a director's cut, we got to have them, right? And we got to have them on 4K. So that's why I put these films at number one. Aside from being Tony Scott films, uh, and, you know, Tony Scott films are always going to top my list. Uh, but I want these extended versions. I really do. So I'm hoping someday um, we might get lucky. Um, again, these are under Disney's control. So who knows if it'll ever happen. But I'm hoping someday we might actually get lucky and get, uh, get these released on 4K. Okay, so that about wraps it up for my main list. But of course, as always, I do have a few honorable mentions here. Uh, continuing on uh, the uh, Tony Scott theme, I really want his last film, his final film before he died. I want Unstoppable on 4K. This is definitely one we need. Uh, it's such a great film with uh, Denzel Washington and Chris Pine. Um, I've talked a lot about Tony Scott's film, so I won't go into too much more detail about this. Uh, the other one I want from Tony Scott is uh, Man on Fire. Gotta have this on 4K. I mean, I really want all the Tony Scott films on 4K, but I didn't want to be too greedy with this list, so uh, I narrowed it down to like four, right? But yeah, Man on Fire, excellent, amazing film, fantastic. This would look just incredible on 4K. Y you know it would, right? Uh, so yeah, I definitely want both these Tony Scott films on 4K. Uh, another one I'd like to see on 4K, and this might actually be happening at some point, uh, I would love to see Stargate uh, from Roland Emmerich. Uh, great film with Kurt Russell, James Spader uh, from the early 90s. What was this, 94? 94, yeah. And uh, another film I saw in the theater uh, when it first came out. And I remember there was a lot of buzz around this film. It was really, uh, it was pretty exciting when we first saw this in the theater. And uh, just a great film all the way around. I would actually argue this may be one of Roland Emmerich's best films, if not his best film. So um, this is one we definitely need on 4K. Uh, and I think it's possible they may actually be working on it. Uh, I thought I had read something at one point um, that it was in the works at some point, but that was like a year or two ago, so I don't know if it's still happening or not. Uh, but definitely want Stargate on 4K. Uh, also, the Reanimator movies. Stuart Gordon, the first Reanimator, uh, but also a Bride of Reanimator and Beyond Reanimator. I want to get all the Reanimator movies on 4K. Uh, and I've deliberately been holding off on buying the Blu-rays because um, I saw a note at one point, I think it was uh, Brian Usna at one point a couple years ago now said, indicated that, that they were actually working on a 4K uh, for Reanimator. Now, I don't know what the current status of that is, and I don't know if that included both uh, the sequels as well or just the, the first Stuart Gordon film, um, but I would love to see these films on 4K. I, uh, I've never seen the uh, sequels. I've only seen the first one, but I love the first one. I've become a pretty big Stuart Gordon fan, and uh, you know, I almost bought uh, the first one on Blu-ray because there is a Blu-ray release that came out a, a number of years ago now that Arrow put out. And I don't know if Arrow still has the license for these movies or, or what the deal is, um, but I would love to see a very cool box set, kind of like Arrow did with, uh, you know, Psycho or Hellraiser. I would love to see a cool 4K box set with all three of the uh, Reanimator movies included. So I don't know what the current status is, but uh, hopefully we will hear something more about that in the near future. Uh, another honorable mention to touch on real quick is Wall Street, directed by Oliver Stone, starring Michael Douglas, Charlie Sheen. Such a great film. Now, I know that as far as 4K is concerned, this isn't exactly a visual wonder, right? This film is not maybe the best film 
that you would think would lend itself well to 4K. But I was watching a little bit of this last night, and I could totally see this uh, actually translating very well over to 4K. Um, so big fan of this film. Love Michael Douglas. Uh, Gordon Gecko rules. Greed is good, right? Um, so yeah, um, would love to see Wall Street uh, get a 4K release. I don't know how realistic it is, but I'd love to see it happen. And then the uh, last two honorable mentions are just a couple Netflix movies that don't have physical media releases. Uh, I'm talking about Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Uh, for one thing, I love Zack Snyder, and uh, I have other Zack Snyder films on physical media. I've been wanting to get Army of the Dead, but Netflix won't release it on physical media. So this is actually kind of pissing me off about Netflix. They really need to get their act together and start releasing more of their, their original films uh, on physical media. Or at least the big ones by big name directors like Zack Snyder or Michael Bay. Um, speaking of Michael Bay, the other one I want to see released uh, from Netflix on physical media is Six Underground. Great Michael Bay action flick that, uh, you know, it's stuck on their streaming service. That's the only way you can see it. Um, so, I, you know, if you're a collector who's collecting other Michael Bay films, Netflix makes it very difficult for you. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want to see Netflix get their act together, start releasing some of their more higher profile films uh, on 4K. Okay, so that about wraps it up for my wish list of movies that I want to see get 4K releases. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, do you like the titles I've chosen? Uh, are any of these titles on your own personal wish list as well? And uh, and what other titles are on your wish list out there? I would love to hear from you. Uh, you guys know I love chatting with you guys. I always have a good time uh, interacting with you in the comments, and uh, I do try to respond to as many comments as I can. I don't always have something to say, but I always uh, try to at least acknowledge that uh, that the comment by with that little heart sign, right? Uh, I like to let you guys know. When I leave a little heart sign, that tells you that I really appreciate the comment and that I either wholeheartedly agree with you or at least agree with you enough to have hearted the comment. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>